Hi everyone, thanks for joining us again. We're gonna do our View From Above series today where we talk about trends in the market. Today we're gonna to be talking about AI, artificial intelligence. Good topic. Area we're really excited about. So I wanna start by first explaining what AI is. Um, there's a, a pretty basic explanation that helped me out a lot. Uh, it's from the um, University of Toronto, uh, Dr. A.J. Arwal. Mm -hmm. He explains it as cheap predictions. So every time you hear the word AI or artificial intelligence, just replace that with cheap predictions. Um, and when you think of it that way uh, and think of it as a new industrial revolution uh, and ones in the past, for example, we used to be a chemistry-based society. So think of Kodak. We used to take pictures and use chemicals mm -hmm. to develop them. Then we moved digital mm -hmm. um, and started uh, with algorithms using computers, sent people to the moon. Uh, now we're moving into an AI um, a generation where we're going to be using cheap predictions. They're so cheap, you can make millions and billions of predictions, and the computers can figure out what the next uh, step is. So it's a really interesting space area we're really excited about. It, it really is, Chris. And, you know, I was talking to you earlier yeah. about a little story. So I have a really right. fast story just to, to tell everybody, all the listeners. So uh, recently, about a week or two ago, I was on the phone. I think I was ordering a part for something. I don't remember what it was, but it was something I was ordering. I sensed that I was speaking to a computer, let's say. Right. It sounded so natural. The language was natural. Everything was natural. I tried to trip were the computer. Were you typing or were you talking? I was talking on the phone. <laughs> I tried to trip up the computer. I couldn't. But then I did interject something that kind of tripped it up a little bit that gave it away to me but it was a phenomenal job it's come such a long way yeah it's it's really advancing a lot um, just one point uh, with with these trend videos is that all of these trends are trends that we're, we're trying to identify and look for opportunities in, and incorporating them in our portfolios mm -hmm. so uh, not that we can't mention specific names right now but you can see these trends in our portfolios of things that we're interested in you can. We're really in touch, especially you. Yeah. You're really watching all the different areas. So I yeah. just wanted to give everyone, in my opinion, a quick quick take on what I call pros and cons. I won't go through them all that, that we've discussed. Mm -hmm. I'll just talk about a little one, a few little pieces of ones. So obviously, with a computer or a machine uh, doing the work for you, it's definitely more effective for a company, without a doubt. The effectiveness, the efficiency is just so much better. And right. Think about it. Computers, they don't have to take a break. They don't have to take a nap. They don't have sick days. Right. They don't have anything like that. They can't so get a virus. <laughs> they can't get a virus. So I guess they can. <laughs> I guess they can time. get a virus. Good point, but a different type of virus. And some quick cons, and this is a big one, especially uh, when you come from the tech world. Um, you know, a computer, they don't have empathy or sympathy. Yeah. I don't know if they'll be able to learn that. I mean, that's a human characteristic. Again, we always say that the difference between a, a computer and a human is a computer has a point of view. Now, I don't know if AI can... A human has a point of view. A human has right, a point right. of view. <laughs> so I don't know if in the future a computer can really have a real point of view. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. And there's a lot of areas that are going to be impacted by AI, really everything. Um, but there's a few sectors and, and industries in particular that you know, we're looking at that we think are just going to have a massive uh, impact from AI, well, first of which being transportation. Huge, huge yeah, area. I mean, what do you see there? Well, I mean, you look at companies like Tesla that are you know, very ambitious in, in autonomous driving and, and many, many companies that are looking at it. And we're not driving. recommending that stock. No, not recommend, can't recommend any stocks. But, um, you know, just the vision there of a complete AI solution, mm -hmm. not using... Um, LIDAR or, or sensors, but a complete AI um, and really feeding these computers just millions and millions of hours of video of live footage. And they're mm -hmm. learning. They're learning what the lines on the road are, what a trash bag going across the street versus a deer, what a cone looks like. Yeah, the um, pictures that they're taking yeah. every second. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, and, and the speed at which it's happening. What are some other areas that you're seeing? Well, just basic manufacturing. Right. I see in the manufacturing space, the robotics right. are amazing, yeah. how that's getting better and better, better all the time. Healthcare, which you stay a little close with. What do you yeah. think about healthcare? With I, mean, AI? Uh, I mean, it's being used already. So uh, instead of uh, people looking through images of MRIs, they're feeding that data to these AI systems that can detect cancer. 
Uh, Probably at, more accurate. At, at, at a higher speed and a higher accuracy. So yeah. pretty amazing um, at just scratching the surface. But there's a lot in healthcare. Yeah. Uh, it's really interesting. Also education. Yeah. The educational field is growing, you know, huge with AI. Right. It's another explosive area. Yeah. But I think an area that we're interested in a lot is media. We see in the media space. Yeah. With, it's uh, been in the news a lot lately with Facebook and everyone. And it's unbelievable. Yeah, they're going to have to figure out how to, to look at all this data in a, in, in a fast pace. And AI is probably going to be a big part of that solution. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm also looking at, uh, I think, smart homes. Uh, I'm just really interested in that area. Mm-hmm. Um, and today's smart homes, uh, if, you, if you envision what a, a full AI solution of a smart home can be it's quite amazing uh your fridge you know your, your milk's about to expire and yeah. again very basic stuff but the, the the potential for growth there is just amazing um yeah, a lot of areas just it's unbelievable I, th- I think i don't think there's an area that ai won't touch so you were telling me something to yeah. wrap up this video yeah. why don't you tell all our listeners that that story you were telling me yeah so again i'm not to go into detail because we want to keep these videos short but uh if you interested in ai look up the AlphaGo zero um, so AlphaGo Zero was a, a pretty recent, uh, they trained an AI system. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first AlphaGo series was humans trained the computer, the AI, to play this game, Go, which is like a checkerboard with little pebbles you move around. So a bunch of people comp- you know, trained it. The AlphaGo Zero, there was no human training. They simply gave the rules. Mm-hmm. They defined what the computer could or couldn't do. And in very fast time, the computer mastered the game and actually was better than all the previous versions, beating some of the masters in the world at this game. So pretty amazing. Hmm. Um, and I think that's where we're going to see, and we're looking at industries where you can have a defined set of rules mm-hmm. and feed that to the AI. So think about transportation driving. Yeah. We drive those rules. You can't right. cross the line. Green right. is go. Red is stop. Right. So very defined rules. Those are going to be the areas that I think AI is going to advance in the first. Mm-hmm. And then as you get looser with those rules and other things we do in life, that'll be harder for AI. But certainly people are, are working really hard for that to, to pick up. So uh, it's, it's just really interesting. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. It's an amazing area and we hope uh, to do our best in that area. Yeah, so our next video is going to be on 5G, which is um, kind of a, a little bit of a... Uh, similarities with AI. I think oh, 5G yeah. is going to be a big part of that enabling, but it Absolutely. it is different. Um, so we're going to talk about 5G. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining us again. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Thanks, everybody.